Hi, we're going to demonstrate how to put a saddle and a pack on these llamas right now. Now, llama gear is a little more complicated than human gear, and anybody who's ever worn a pack knows that a human has the ability to adjust things. Uh, so we're going to spend a little bit more time on these llamas getting them adjusted just right because they don't have thumbs. So this is Lita the llama, and Lita is demonstrating what, what we're shooting for here. Uh, this is, there are a number of different saddle systems. This is a Soper saddle system, which is one of the very best. It has a fair number of straps on it, so part of what I'm going to show you is how to put the straps on in an order that makes sense. Now there's more than one right way to do it, uh, but we'll show you the, what we think is one of the optimal ways to do it. So you can efficiently saddle up a llama and unsaddle a llama as the case may be. One thing that will help you with efficiency is if you short tie your llama. Now Lita here is long tied and she's pretty busy with the grass, but as you can see, if I start fussing with her, she's gonna tend to move away from me. So if we short tie our llama, we kinda get it in a position where it's easier to get your hands on it. Here we have a saddle that is not yet on a llama, obviously. You may notice that we put our animals' names on the saddle because if you're running a bunch of saddles and each one has been adjusted for a particular animal, it's, it's optimal to put the same saddle on the same llama, though everything is fully adjustable. Uh, you may notice that there's four main straps to focus on. This one's going to go around her chest, uh, and we're going to start there, and so I've labeled that with a number one. And uh, there's a back strap, sa strap that's going to be number two, and so forth. Now, the beauty of this system is that it's so adjustable and so focused on comfort, but this does mean that there's kind of a lot of straps. And so it's possible to get this strap kind of turned around and, turn, and, it, and it looks pretty similar. We try to generally label the outside to help you sort through that. And in particular, as a, as a handler, uh, you should only be needing to worry about unclipping things with numbers on them. And I'll show you why in just a second. All right, let's see what we can do to get this on our animal. All right, let's get her saddled up. So here we have Yala's saddle. We know it's hers because it's her name's on it, and also it happens to match her color-wise. And uh, we're going to need to figure out the difference between the front and the back. Now if you see this white bungee, the white bungee is an attachment point for a llama that we could put behind her. So that obviously goes on the back. The other thing is we've got a set of straps here, and it's nice to collect them and put them over the saddle so we don't accidentally whack her on the feet with metal buckles. So I'm gonna first take a look at her and see if there's any debris on her. Now llamas like to roll in the dust and if you pack in a thorny environment like ours there might be some thorns caught in her. Uh, and she kind of likes this, mostly. So this also gets her used to being touched and tells her it's time to work. Then when we're ready we just kind of flop it right on her back. And as you can see she's a little interested in seeing if she can sneak out of it because after all Packing's fun, but everybody likes not having a pack on their back. So you kind of center it and get it all straightened out, and then kind of gently drop them on over. Now, if we've done things right, we find ourselves on the left side of the animal, which means that we can then just clip the things on the left side, and we're pretty much good to go. Now, this first strap here, which is labeled with a number one, is going to come across her chest. So we're going to wrap it under here. We're gonna try and straighten it out so it's not folded and creased, because after all, you wouldn't want your hip belt all twisted around. And then we're gonna clip it right here to this ring. That's number one, and we're gonna start looking for number two. Two, there's an A and a B, and they happen to be a pair of buckles that are up here on the front, and clipping into two A and two B will t help to keep the chest strap up on the chest. Now the next step is the back of the animal. Now, this is probably the most complicated strap, and it's also the llama's least favorite strap because it's kind of a private area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this strap, which looks like a Y. As you can see it kind of comes down across the back and then splits. So you see Yala's trying to help me. She actually is putting her tail a little bit to the side. So I'm going to put it underneath her tail, and I'm going to loosen it a little bit up so they can go there. Put it underneath her tail. There you go. And I might even get 
give her a little help to get that tail out of there. And then she tends to relax. Similarly on this side, I'm gonna clip number three here into a ring buckle. You may hear Yala's talking, and what she's saying is, this kind of bugs her a little, and she's ready to get out on the trail. All right, so we've, got, we've gone through step three. Steps four and five are belly straps, and those are the ones that really need to be the most snug. We really started with one and two because one of those common errors people have is they'll position the saddle in the wrong spot. So it sits here on the shoulder, and if a llama's gonna cover a lot of miles with a heavy pack on its back, it's awfully nice that the saddle is on the back but not on the shoulder. Come on, baby. Settle down. Okay, now I'm gonna reach under here and get the satchel, satchel straps. Here's, here they are. And now this back strap can be pretty loose. That's number four. And here's number five. And number five is the one we really wanna be snug. Uh, I'm going to start off with it fairly loose and I'm going to tighten it down and as I tighten it down I'm going to put my hand under here so I don't catch any of her fur and she doesn't associate being saddled with painful experiences. You wouldn't like a haircut if your hair gets pulled every time. So we'll tighten her up. It's common for a llama to suck in air when you do that and so oftentimes they'll saddle them, get them all saddled up and then come back when they're not expecting it and cinch it down a little harder. Now. This strap in particular is very helpful. It'll be really tight because it helps to hold the saddle in position so it doesn't slosh around when you're walking up and down hills or when you run into a tree and bang everything. Now the last strap's pretty simple and straightforward. That strap, just a fine touch here, and it's number seven. There's an A or a B. And what this does is it helps to hold this strap down and in position. And B on the other side is very this seems overly complicated, it's a little complicated, but it helps to keep the saddle in the right place. Now, there's more than one way to do it right. We just tried to show you the best way. If you follow that way, saddling will be easy. But if you ever need to just get a llama out of a saddle really quickly, you can do that any old way. Everything is a detachment point. Now, to take it off, you basically go in opposite order, you go seven down to one. Uh, and you'll end up ready to put it back on her. So I'll demonstrate that for you really quickly. So, seven. Seven. Yay. Okay, so we have that off. And we have five. Like to say saddle and you take it take it right off her. Now once you've pulled the saddle off your llama, especially after a day of packing, one thing you could do is take a look at the indentation that the pad has made. So ideally you have two pads where it's pretty evenly worn and up here by the spine it would be nice and fluffy. And that's an indication that you put it on in a good way, you're not having any wear spots, and your llama spine is nicely protected. Because they do have a, unlike a horse, they have a spinal column that runs right along here that you don't want to put pressure on. 